What's going on everybody? This is Zebo here and today I have another quick tutorial for you all in Sony Vegas and what I'm going to be going over today is the basics of getting smooth slow motion in Sony Vegas. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys two different ways to accomplish this and so let's go ahead and get started. I have a clip in Sony Vegas already just a Dragunov clip from a while back and so the first thing I need to do is right click on my clip, go to switches and make sure disable resample is checked. And then what we need to do next is hit U on our keyboard and simply delete the audio layer by hitting delete on our keyboard after we click on our audio layer. And then so now if we look at this we can see that uh, there's no slow motion, it's just the raw clip and so I'm just going to go ahead and add some slow motion right here, find where you want it. Um, I'm just moving back and forth with my arrow keys on my keyboard. And so let's go ahead and start the slow motion right here. And so what we need to do is just simply split our clip, um, go to video effects. And the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys how to use is Twixter in Sony Vegas. And this is just a plugin. Um, you can search it up on YouTube or Google and there will be downloads and um, just make sure you're getting it legally and so um, so what we need to do is just go to our Twixter and make sure you put it on the clip um, after where you want it to start and what we need to do is change our speed to 3 or actually let's go ahead and just change our speed to 1 and so now just copy all these settings down make sure that that's what it looks like and so just go ahead and hit the X button on that and I'm just gonna go ahead and preview this in draft auto because Twixter lags my Vegas a little bit even though my computer is really good and so um, I would recommend putting it in draft auto and so if we go ahead and preview this we can see that it looks pretty good um, in Sony Vegas it's gonna be a little bit choppier than in After Effects um, just simply because Twixter was not actually created for Sony Vegas. It was modified, I believe, um, to be used in Sony Vegas instead of just After Effects. And so um, I would definitely recommend using Twixter for After Effects. But if Sony Vegas is the only way you can go, then definitely it looks it looks pretty good. And so um, if we see it is slow motion, and then let's go ahead and stop the slow motion. So what we need to do is just hit S on our keyboard again where we want it to stop and set the speed back to 100 actually we can just delete the Twixter so now if we watch this we can see that it goes like that and then it's messed up and so what we need to do is just drag it out here and actually find the point so let's go ahead and fast forward this and so we can see that the Twixter is going to stop about right there so we just need to find the point on our clip that we split and so that looks pretty good and so if we watch this again you can see that it's Twixter and then it's just gonna go straight into the clip and then now I'm gonna be showing you guys another way to get smooth slow motion in Sony Vegas and so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that drag our clip back in right click disable resample and delete the audio once again by hitting U on my keyboard so what I'm going to be showing you guys now is I'm just going to go ahead and put that back on Preview Auto. And then what you need to do is come over here to your clip, right click on it, go to, what's it called, let's see. Right click on it, go to Insert Remove Envelope and hit Velocity. So now we can see that we have this little line and we can actually adjust this line and it's going to make it slower. And then we can move it up and it's going to go faster. And so let's go ahead and just reset that and find the point where we want it to go in slow motion and just start it about right here. So what we need to do is click on our timeline, double click on our green arrow and then go forward just a little bit and double click again and then just raise that up or actually move that down um, to about 30%. Just you can mess around with it. Um, I would definitely not recommend going too low because it is going to make your um it's going to make it look laggy and so um this way is definitely not going to be as slow motion 
as Twixter, but it is still gonna look really good um, just for adding quick slow motion to a couple parts in your video. And so what you need to do then after that is just find the point where you want the slow motion to stop and double click a little bit before it and double click a little bit after it and then just raise that back up to 100%. So now if we look at this, we can see that it goes in slow motion and then it's gonna go forward. And like I said, this is not gonna be as slow motion as the other one. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate. You can move this down to like 3% and you can see that it gets pretty laggy. Not laggy, just like jumpy. And it's not very smooth and so just make sure you keep it up about 30% and also make sure your clips when you're doing slow motion are 59.94 frames per second and um, also I wasn't going to show you guys this but a lot of you guys probably don't know about this most of you probably do though and so um, if you just want to make simple slow motion in Sony Vegas hold down the control key on your keyboard and you can actually just stretch out your clip and so it's slow motion or bring it in and it's going to be f super fast and so um, that way works as well but it's not going to be as smooth slow motion as Velocity or Twixter and so um, uh, my personal favorite is Velocity simply because it's not too slow but it still looks really nice and it's not very laggy as long as you don't get it down below um, like 3% and so um, yeah this was just a quick tutorial for you guys Please make sure you're leaving your tutorial request in the description. That would really help me out because I honestly don't have that much time to sit around thinking of tutorials for you guys. And so just let me know what you want to see. And so thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and favorite if you enjoyed or learned something from this tutorial. And so um, thank you guys for watching once again. This is Zebo, and I will see you next time.